Hey YouTube, welcome back to Storyteller Plays Night in the Woods. This is possibly episode 14, or a continuation of 13. This would be a really long episode if so. Hmm. I can see the bottom. I don't think we're gonna die in the water, uh, in one foot of water. Right. What did I say in the last episode about not enter entering suspicious bodies of water in the bottom of caves? Also, notice how nobody's following you, May. Probably because this is dangerous. And she's gone, flushed down the toilet, into outer space. I know what you are now. I think I knew before, but, you know, after I sent that kid to the hospital, years ago, they said I had an anger problem. But that's not true. I was angry because of something else. Something I'd lost. Trying so hard since, since not to be angry got me all defenseless, and I lost more and more and more and more. That's not getting better. I want to be angry. When I ran home from college, on the bus I had this dream, or maybe I saw it out the window. Last leaf on the tree, finally blown off. I'm so scared, all the time. And the fear hurts, feeling like everything is over. Was over long before I got here, so long hiding or trying to outrun this. I get it. This won't stop until I die. But when I die, I want it to hurt. When my friends leave, when I have to let go, when this entire town is wiped off the map, I want it to hurt bad. I want to lose. I want to get beaten up. I want to hold on until I'm thrown off and everything ends. And you know what? Until that happens, I want to hope again, and I want it to hurt. Because that means it meant something. It means I'm something at least. <laughs> Pretty amazing to be something at least. Uh, don't know what that says. Cubert, is that you? You know, I can't understand you, right? Oh, shut up already. I know this won't save me in the end. But I don't need it to save me forever. I just need it to save me now. So, if you're gonna kill me right here, then do it. If not... May. Dude, are you okay? Whoa. You got all sleepwalky there for a sec. You want me to carry you? No, I think I'm good. I'm just... Very, very tired. Big mood, my dude. Hang here for a bit. If we need you, uh, if you need to, we're safe. Uh-huh. Hey, there's light over there. Did you smell that? I bet he did. Did somebody fart? Still can't jump. What is it, y'all? <gasps> this looks like somewhere I'll be able to jump up. Huh, what's this? Might be a vent or something. Keep the miners from suffocating way back when. Looks old enough, at least. Brochure. Hello! We're down here! Don't ask us why, please. Could get lucky and someone's out there at the woods at night. I, I can't try to make it out. No, I can, like... Okay, yeah, are you up for this? Yes, let's do it. I don't know. I'm, like, all hyper now. Like dolphins. Hyper like dolphins? No, like, when your body is like a, Whoa, I almost died. And you get all hyper because you're filled with dolphins. Okay, I'm seriously confused. Are you okay, May? Endorphins. Ah, uh, okay. There. Thank you, those. Okay, well... Ride those dolphins up out of here. Ugh, that's assuming I can even do this. We'll watch. Okay. Oh, there's one behind Angus's head. Let's go. Hopefully this is long enough to get another episode out of. Otherwise, episode 13 is going to be super long. Oh, hey, we did the exact opposite of falling out of a well. Those animations. This place, huh? Hey, May. Germ! Yeah? What are you doing out here? I live right up the hill. I heard Greg yelling. 
We were all stuck down there. Y you were at the bottom of the old well in my backyard? It's been a really bad night. Sounds like it. Okay, any rope or something? Or got any rope or something? Yeah. Can you go get it? Hey, May. Yeah? Was that Germ? Yeah, he's getting some rope. What is he doing out here? He lives here. In the woods? <laughs> My entire body hurts. That was a long way. I brought some sodas. You're the best, Germ. You need a sugar and caffeine. Or you need the sugar and caffeine. Oh, uh, anyone else want to get far away from this well? Yep. Germ, can you, like, I don't know, seal up this well? Hmm. I got dynamite. What? Yeah, I mean, I can get some. How big an explosion is that? I mean, not small? Okay, that works. Thanks, Germ. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Okay, um, okay. Bye, guys. Dynamite is apparently not too hard to make. Don't quote me on that. There goes a weird, weird guy. He saved our lives. Germ is good. Germ is a good man. It strikes me that we just murdered all those dudes down there. How do you figure? Well, I mean, the elevator's broken and we caused the cave-in. That was self-defense. I guess, but we did cause the deaths of like a dozen guys. No, no, no. They're all still alive down there. Oh god. Yeah. Jeez. Well, we're blameless. They attacked us. One of them attacked us. So we're worrying about like... It's morally gray. We're not murderers. Like, if we had a choice, we wouldn't have done it. I would have. Uh, what? They like killed people. They were trying to get wanna get us to kill people. Screw them. I don't even believe in hell, and I hope they go all go straight there. Jeez, Angus. Well, that's what I think at least. Hmm. This is like that trolley thing. What trolley thing? Okay, I'll explain it if we keep walking. What trolley thing? I'm going to guess it appeared in a previous episode, and my memory is just bad. Hey guys! Uh, are you there? Anyone? Okay, I'm gonna type anyway. Hard for me to say anything smart about what the hell even just happened. Easier for me to get it all out from here, out here. And I need to talk. Even if you jerks are off doing whatever. None of us asked for any of this, and it didn't happen to us because we're, like, special. You can work as hard as you want, but the universe is gonna keep doing whatever it does. And I don't think any of us deserve all this. This is all stuff that started long before we were born. It's all, like, moving so fast, and you're... dropped into it. And you're just trying to grab onto something. All of you are what kept me from floating off tonight. Also, you kind of killed that guy to save me. Don't think I don't, didn't appreciate that. LOL. I don't know if I'm ever going to understand what all just happened. I hope it's stopped. I just feel right now like all I want to do is wrap my arms around all of you. Not just because I love you, but to keep you all together with me. Wrapped up, wrap up into a ball and no one can hurt us. Sorry I'm rambling. Germ, buddy. Germ, you don't even use Messenger. I guess I'm just typing it wherever you are. Or wherever you're at. Bay, you're definitely something. I'm so sorry about all you've been gone through, Beatrice. Beatrice. I don't even understand all of, the, all of your problems. But if I could fix them, I'd fix all of it. And I'd buy the tools uh, to do it from your store. Or, like, borrow them at least. A better friend would buy, but I'm what you got. And I'm glad. Yep, there it is. Now I'm just gonna erase all that. Oh shit. Uh, guys, I was just kidding about a lot of that. I'm really tired. I don't know what I'm saying. Log off, May. Log off.
Achievement unlocked. Changing of the seasons. Okay. That wasn't the end of the game, which means we at least get an episode 14. There's May falling down the hold and shapes. Okay, let's see if anybody responded to the absolutely embarrassing thing May said last night. Away message. It's good to be alive this morning, that's all. Hey man, nice messages last night. I mean, like, really. You massive dork, lol. Band practice today? Oh no. Because I feel like we need to do something normal. I'm at the Snalkin. I hope you're feeling okay. Sincerely, Gregory. Hey May, you okay this morning? I'm not opening the pickaxe today. Greg informs me we're doing band practice, though. I'll see you there. Well? Let's go to band practice. Epilogue. Stars. We're gonna eat you for Thanksgiving, bird. No, we're not, May. Be nice. God, it's us. It's just us. Home and us. I don't know what this feeling is, but I'm not gonna cry today. That's good. May, honey, is that you? Yeah. I'm back in the kitchen, if you want to talk. Let's make today the one day I don't talk to mom. I'm joking. Hey, sweetie. Hey, mom. How are you feeling? Good enough to jump up here. Can you do me a favor and stay home tonight? Sure, Mom. Why? It's been... I just... I... You're an adult, and you can do whatever you want. But you do live here, and you are still my baby. Aw, Mom. We need to come up with some ground rules, just because. Honey, you could have died the other night, and then you just left to hang out with your friends. I... I'm sorry, Mom. Sweetie, what's going on with you? I had a really tough year. Hun, you've had a tough week. We all have. Yeah, but... What happened at school, hun? I don't care what it is, just please tell me. Are you working today? No, me and your father are both off today. I'll be around tonight. We can talk about it then. Or can we talk about it then? Sure. We can make breakfast for dinner like we used to. Dad can flip the pancakes in the air. Haha, <laughs> sure. Are you going out today? Yeah. Can you please stay in the town? Close? Yes, Mom. I think they're getting some of the longest night decorations out. Oh, wow. Calling for some snow, too. That went fast. What did? The fall. Always does, hun. Okay. Well, I'm off. I love you, sweetie. I love you, too, Mom. Hey, Dad. No work today? I told Bob to shove it. Really? No. You okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. Not going to sugarcoat it. I hate my job. Aw, oh, Dad, why? I've mined, I've made glass, I've done a heap of other stuff. But this place? They just don't respect you for working. They don't? Job's supposed to pay you enough to live. Job's supposed to let you provide for your family. Job's supposed to have regular hours. Boss is supposed to respect you. Worker is supposed to be able to talk. Worker is supposed to be able to have a life. Worker is supposed to be able to live. Your mom always had to work, but I wanted to give you and her ta your time. I wanted her to have hobbies. And enough time and money to do them. That's what made me happy. Now I just work so I can keep our health insurance. And hold on to the house. Try to, at least. Is there anything you can do? I mean... We do need a union. It's just easier to say than it to get uh, than it is to get it done. Unions were always there in the mines and the factory, at least for a while. But here, I got something for you. I got it out of the basement. How'd you get into the basement? Door in the crawl space. That's spooky. So what I got is a tooth. A what? Uh, do you know what this tooth is? No, really. You sure? Yeah, Grandad must have had it from the old days. May, thank you. Wow, looks bright and new. Like they just pulled it out of his skull yesterday. 
You show that to your boss and tell him to eat shit. May. Sorry. I'll just keep it with me. Sure thing. May. Yeah? You come down and pick it with us if we walk out. I will breathe fire, Dad. Love you, kitten. Back at you. Or be back later. Did we ever find out what the tooth was? The significance of the tooth? Hey there, Aunt Mallcop. Hey, what are you doing here? I'm working, May. Sure. <sighs> What's going on? Don't ask. A lot of weird calls this morning. What kind of calls? Question. You haven't seen... Never mind. Go do whatever it is you do. Okay, fine, I will. May. Spit it out already. Be careful. Just be careful. Well, geez, until now, I never considered that. May. Okay, fine. Thanks, bye. Probably a lot of people didn't show up to work, I'd assume. Selmers. Hey, May. Sup, Selmers. You okay? After the whole, like, head injury thing? Yeah, I'm alright. Headache is all. I got some migraine meds if you need it. Nah, it's not a migraine. And those things make me have to pee. It's the caffeine. If you ever take or if you ever take pills that make you pee, it's the caffeine. I didn't know that. Used to work at the pharmacy. Oh right. Well if I ever have a headache or need to pee, I'll come by. Anytime, neighbor. Well the homeowners association is still here. Uh, I don't that doesn't really answer the question. Blah blah blah. The amount of rock salt isn't the problem. Oh, uh, yeah, they're just talking about boring stuff. Snow coming. Gonna be bad this year. Oh, that's still them. Just them. Ah, shoot. It looks like our buddy up there. Uh, Mr. Something. I'm really bad with names. Chazikov? Hey, May. Hey there, Mr. Chazikov. Knew it. By which I mean I threw out a random guess and was correct. Got any more desk stars we can look at? One more. Still haven't learned to just put the filter on before looking through it, huh? Gotta be around here somewhere. Not a lot of empty space left. Oh, here we go. No, down here. Here we go. Found it. Let us consult the guide. Uh, how do you even read that name? Erskine the Firemaker. The Firemaker? A wanderer in the cold and dark, making a fire out of and hurtling up to it for light and warmth. Sounds festive. Sounds like survival. Hmm. The storms make, uh, the star makes me want to cry. Crying on my roof? Do you wish to talk about it? No, it's fine. Is it a happy cry or a sad cry? I don't know. I don't have great words for it. It's okay. Sometimes too many words. Yeah. Thank you for this. Thank you for joining me. I think we have discovered them all. Well, we didn't really discover them, right? I mean, someone else had already saw them and named them. Wrote a whole bunch of stuff about them. And we just, like, found what they made for us. Is that not a discovery? Not really. Maybe not in the historical sense. We did not create the stars, or name them. But we had these autumns and after- or we had these autumn afternoons. And we found them together. Isn't that something? Something, something, something. My granddad said something like that once. Something about a story having really a happened, because hearing it happen to you. That is nice. It's not bad. Night sky is pretty big, though. That's only a handful of constellations. So what now? A uh, super moon is coming. What is that? A giant moon. Oh, that does sound super. You must come, uh... You must come meet me when it happens. I will be. It will be late at night. There will be others on the roof. You come. I will make hot 
chocolate. What a time. That sounds great. I want to see a super moon. Plan on it. See you later, Mr. Chazikov. See you soon, Stargazer. Really can't see the stars where I live. Of course, we don't have a telescope that allows you to see stars in broad daylight. <gasps> it's the raccoon! Raccoon's gotten a bit older. I wonder if she's just pregnant again. Probably not. I had a PE teacher in, I think, the 8th grade who was on maternity leave, and when she came back, she disclosed that she was pregnant again. So that was a thing. When winter come and water freeze, here the fish can be at ease. The tunnel is not... Uh, the tunnel is not flooded ruin. It's a home and place for doing. Sure, that works. Please go away. Is Miss Rosa here? Nope. She never did come back. I hope she's okay. Well, the teens are here. Let's say hello. Hey, you guys. Yeah? Stay safe, alright? Wow, thanks, Mom. Are you our new mom? Apparently. Life, man, it goes on. Or it goes. Slowly. Nah, dude. Nah. May, you are now the mother of four. Or a mother of four. Oh, hey. One of the people who stands up here and talks about stuff is gone. Probably one of the cultists. Huh. Not a lot of other people to talk to. Okay, what do you have to tell me? So you're a taco dude now. I mean, I was hired to be a taco artisan. But I guess that means ugh, holding this sign out in the snow. It's not really snowing that hard. It's snowing. There is snow in the sky, falling. Uh, how are the tacos here? Good. I like tacos. There is not one person on God's earth who doesn't love tacos. Bad news. My ex hate tacos. Good news. They're now your ex. <laughs> Have fun with the tacos. Eh, it pays. Taco buck, we deliver. Is there anybody fun this way? The Click Clack Diner is supposed to have closed, right? No, it's still open. Probably. Well, let's suck at band practice. Should I go say hi to the people at the church? Nah. Well, look who's alive and well. Or, well, look who's alive and well. Is that a surprise? Nah. Just seems like... relevant. Well, look who's alive and well, too. Yeah. Yeah. You wanna get out of here? Do band practice? Yes. I wanted... I want nothing more than to suck at band practice. God, the door just does not like to open. Bet it's worse in the summer. So, did y'all get the keys to the back door? Or how did y'all get the keys to the back door? Greg got one and we have made copies. Uh, how'd they even get a key? I have no idea. Where's Greg? Oh yeah, he had to spring Angus from work. What does that mean? Zero clue. I'm a little unclear about how both of them still have jobs, since they seem to just up and leave work ri ri rather a lot. Whatever she said, I can't read. There's a lot about those two I don't understand. I think they just play, uh, just plain need each other. Greg more than Angus, I think. I don't think Angus would agree. That's because it wouldn't occur to Angus to think otherwise. Because Angus is an extremely nice person. Greg's a nice person. Oh yeah, he definitely is. But he's also a bratty and irresponsible. And he has, like, zero attention span. Greg needs a parent as much as he needs a boyfriend. And he's really lucky Angus is a little bit of both. Angus thinks Greg, like, saved him. Listen, I'm not saying he didn't if he thinks so. Angus might also have be just be attracted to really sincere guys in leather jackets who carry knives. 
I mean, if I met the right guy, those would all be pluses. Geez, you've thought this out. Before we came back, uh, they were the only people I hung out with most of the time. I've had a lot of time to study. So, like, how are you? I'm, a uh, good. Really? I feel like right now I could convince myself I was fine or completely shattered. Just, like, stuck in neutral. You? Uh, not great. Had a dream the world was ending. Might be. Do you think we're safe? No idea. Great feeling. Yep. So, like, I'm a little confused about what even happened last night. Well, there's apparently a death cult of dads. Or was. Who knows if uh, that was all of them. I can't believe they even exist or existed. Probably take them a few days to die. Yep. I don't know. I can't understand them in a weird way. Really? It's like a porch light that's on, and there are... And there are all bugs around it. I can't read. And then the light goes out. And there's a hole where the light was. It's like what happened to me way back. Like I was telling you about on the couch last night. Holy crap, that was last night? Seems like two lifetimes ago. <laughs> yeah. The world is extremely bad. Yes, yes it is. Weird question. How do you, like, get up every day? and go open the store, and keep doing it. I don't really have a choice, do I? I mean, you definitely do. You don't give yourself enough credit. You keep all of this running because you care, I guess. Caring doesn't always seem to be voluntary. Caring can be really terrifying. I feel like it's always there, right out of sight, following me. I can't not give a shit. I mean, I do the store, and our bills at home. Stuff with the Chamber of Commerce. I'm doing uh, free study courses online, and I'm a member of the Young Socialists. I sleep a lot and sometimes eat pizza. To each according to their ability. Well, on the bright side, you've got me. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Uh, we can fix the world together. Yep, fix it right up. We fixed that furnace. I fixed that furnace. Well, I fixed us getting trapped in the basement. You sure did, May. You sure did. Ugh. I guess last night wasn't so weird. It was pretty weird. Old men killing the young and the poors to get back some past that barely existed. Same old, same old. They're like ghosts in the same old mansion. Killing the new owners. Makes you want to either give up or try harder. Or get really upset and take a nap. Yeah, naps fix everything. Or like... Drop an elevator on them. That works too, I guess. So... Uh, how good is your car? Good how? Like, can it drive real far? May, do you know anything about- what? We should, like, do a road trip. To where? Out west. It gets all flat. That it does. We can go where it's really flat, and they sell barbecue. And you can see stuff like the world's largest pierogi, or a museum of toy rocket ships, or a factory where they make pretzels, or a house that looks like a big chicken. I could... Okay, let's talk about it next year. I'll start planning it now. I thought you couldn't leave home because of your issue. Eh, you're home enough. I mean, if we're trapped here together, uh, we might as well be trapped out there somewhere. I mean, if we're not dead by then, lol. You have a way of making doom sound like a lot of fun, Mayday. It's actually a kind of gift. God damn this door. I think God already has. There they are. Hey, guys. Sup, nerds? Psh. It is you who are the nerds. What? Jeez, we've never been so insulted. Take it right back, dork. Fat chance. Hey, Greg, so I didn't really know Casey. Yeah. I just wanted to say I'm really sorry. Yeah. Thanks. Casey was a good one. Casey was good. Should we, like, tell his parents? Probably. No? 
I mean, tell them what? Uh, okay, yeah. Hmm. Good point. So, like, what do we do? About Casey? No, like, in general. Uh, can we think about this tomorrow? Can we just play a song and get pizza? I don't think song and pizza is an answer, really. Can we just be normal for like one day? I don't know how today can possibly feel normal. Uh, when I was in that coma or whatever, I saw the future. Or maybe it's how now the future. Or was the future. Like flying cars and shit? Actually, those would be a disaster. Haha, <laughs> finally you admit it. You owe me five bucks. That's a bet. No, it was like the town was abandoned. Like being eaten and reclaimed by nature or some shit. I went to where my house used to be. When I was there, I felt completely hopeless. But now I think I could just build another house. Or I could just move on. Knowing when to hold on. And when to let go. Okay, I lost my entire train of thought. I had it for a second. And then it was gone. Song and pizza sounds good, May. Song and pizza. Yeah. Good enough. Oh, I don't get a fail at the minigame. That's unfortunate. This game was... disgustingly cute. I've never read so much in my life, not out loud anyway. Thanks for making it this far into the episode. If you did, like or favorite, like the video if you enjoyed. Ah, subscribe for more stuff not quite like this, but possibly. And thanks. Probably not immediately, but I can't wait until I play this again, doing things differently. Just not on the channel.